Over the past decade or so, South Korea has maintained the highest suicide rate among the 35 nations of the OECD. The suicide rate has remained high through two financial crises, lending credence to the view that the problem is socioeconomic. To tackle this problem, a number of suicide prevention strategies have been adopted, but which are the most effective measures? In a 2016 study published in the journal Crisis, the Journal of Crisis Intervention and Suicide Prevention, researchers from Yonsei University and the National Chuncheon Hospital investigated the effects of a television public service advertisement campaign on suicide prevention in South Korea. Previous studies have shown the effectiveness of PSA campaigns for reducing smoking and alcohol abuse. However, such campaigns aimed at suicide prevention are relatively recent, and research on their effectiveness is limited. South Korea's Ministry of Health and Welfare runs the 129 Health and Welfare Call Center as a suicide prevention hotline. The 129 suicide hotline is a proxy indicator for the effectiveness of a TV campaign, since hotlines are known to play an important role in suicide prevention. Using a database of phone calls to this hotline, the authors compared daily call counts during the 16 days before the PSA campaign began in 2013, the 16 days while the campaign ran, and the 16 days after it had concluded. The call data were divided into two categories, suicide-related counseling and other mental health issues. Then, the authors investigated whether the differences in call counts before, during, and after the campaign were statistically significant. The number of suicide-related calls to the hotline during the TV PSA campaign was found to be about 1.6 times greater than those before or after the campaign. The mean score for the number of hotline calls during the campaign was significantly different to those pre-campaign and post-campaign. However, there was no statistically significant difference between the pre-campaign and post-campaign numbers. Meanwhile, little change was observed in the number of calls related to other mental health issues. For the purposes of comparison, the researchers analyzed crisis call data for the corresponding period, March to June, in 2012. The above results are best seen in the trend graph of call volumes to the hotline in 2012 and 2013. While calls to the hotline significantly increased during the PSA campaign, they quickly dropped to pre-campaign levels immediately after its conclusion. This highlights a need to run longer suicide prevention campaigns. In fact, the 2013 campaign was much shorter than other TV PSA campaigns in Korea, such as those targeting smoking. One way this could be remedied is by allocating a bigger budget for such campaigns. Given the paucity of research on the impact of TV PSA campaigns on suicide prevention in South Korea, this study not only crucially contributes to the literature, but also opens doors for future research to consider aspects such as caller demographic, whether callers actually view TV PSA campaigns, and whether such campaigns actually reduce the number of suicide deaths. Overall, this study provides crucial insight into the effectiveness of specific strategies aimed at reducing suicide rates. Considering the high prevalence of suicide in South Korea, such research is vitally necessary in the Korean context, and the authors fill a noticeable gap in this area.